Travel with Tanny, reporting to you live from Northern Ireland in the United Kingdom. It's sometimes rainy, windy, and cold, but that's okay. I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the most beautiful and breathtaking sights on this Irish island. And to top off an already amazing trip, we're doing a Game of Thrones tour. I can't wait. <laughs> It's day one for our Game of Thrones tour. I used GameOfThronesTours.com for both tours for both days. We are now starting with the Belfast Winterfell locations trek. And we are crossing the Narrows. And yes, yes, our bus is on the ferry with us. After disembarking, we headed straight over to the home of House Stark, Winterfell Castle. Winterfell Castle is actually Castle Ward Estate, which is a 16th century castle. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. That's only one tower. Yes, it is. But with CGI magic, HBO took this one tower and created the entire Winterfell Castle. If you go all the way back to season one, you will see this one tower in the Winterfell skyline over and over again. Off we go on our trek. The first stop was Walder Frey's Twins from Season 1, Episode 9. Mm, you may remember the scene when Theon is shooting down Walder Frey's ravens. That magic was made possible with camera angles, Mother Nature, and you guessed it, more CGI. The director actually filmed the shots at sunset with precise timing before the town's night lights turned on. At dusk, there was just enough darkness to blur out the city in the background. Our next stop was the location for a scene from Season 2, Episode 10, where Brienne of Tarth finds three women hanging because they lay with lions. Brienne then proceeded to kill three of Robb Stark's bannermen, while still two-handed Jamie, helplessly watched because he was actually tied up, but he still had both hands. <laughs> Moving on, our last stop before lunch was Rob Stark's camp from episode 4 of season 2. We ate lunch at the Quan restaurant and I had my favorite dish of the trip, fish chowder, and my travel buddy had fish and chips. The Quan restaurant is also stop number one on the Journey of Doors tour, which is a separate Game of Thrones tour. And after lunch, we had a pleasant surprise. We were able to meet two of the dire wolves from the show. Grey Wind, who was Rob Stark's dire wolf, and Summer, who belonged to Bran Stark. But in real life, the dog's names are Odin and Thor, which is, well, equally awesome. With our fill of puppy magic, we continued our tour. Our next stop was at Inch Abbey, and the entire tour, <laughs> the entire tour group dressed in Stark attire and recreated the scene from season one, episode 10, when Catelyn Stark received the news about the death of her husband, Ned Stark. On the show, Catelyn continued off screen to see Rob chopping at the tree and muttered, Rob, stop, you'll ruin your sword. <laughs> Inch Abbey was also the location where Rob Stark was held King of the North, which was, which was also in season one, episode 10. That King of the North scene was actually filmed outside. I know you were thinking because I was, man, they look cold. Well, they were. That frosty air that was coming from their mouths, well, it was real. We were able to freely take photos with our swords and banners, but were warned to be careful because the swords were real metal and we had to remember not to stick each other or the ground with the pointy end. We removed our Stark attire and traveled to the Tollymore Forest Park. Before we embarked on our three mile hike, we were instructed to stay close and not wander because there had been a Black Panther sighting. But it was okay, because if we all stayed together, the Black Panther would not attack because he only attacked solo travelers. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> Tollymore Forest is a beautiful and unique um, forest. It has gothic style arches, exotic trees from all over the world. So off we go into Tollymore Forest to see more sexy trees. Tanny's travel tip. There is a lot of walking on this tour. Make sure you wear comfortable shoes. In Tollymore, we go all the way back to season one, episode one. 
Polymar Forest is the location for two pivotal Game of Thrones moments. Yes, this is the filming location from the opening scene with the White Walkers, with the circle of dead wildlings. This is also the location where the Stark family and Theon find the direwolf cubs. Whew, well, we made it out of the forest and back to downtown Belfast, where we ended the day and ate dinner at Robin's Bar. See you tomorrow. For all things travel, visit tannylamb.com.